Hello, my name is Louis Shapiro. I'm with South Florida Insider, and this is Mark Clayton. And Mark, uh, what what have you uh, got going on here tonight? Well, this is my celebrity uh, pairing party and wine tasting party for my first annual golf event. It's going to be held at Herring Bay tomorrow morning. And what is the uh, what are you uh, what is the charity that we're raising money for? Uh, the Parkland Rangers and the Mark Clayton End Zone Foundation. That's great. And uh, what uh, kind of programs do you do with? Um, well, foundation. My, my foundation, I do, um, I do mentoring for, for kids. Uh, we do, um, we do football scholarships for, for kids that want to uh, further their, their football athletic skills, as well as uh, scholarships that they fall a little short in hard times for, for their books or room or board or something like that to go on to go to college. Uh, and I'm also promoting physical fitness. For obesity in kids, I want to promote health awareness and try to stop some of this addiction. That's great. And uh, is there a website where people can look up more information if they want to help? Well, my foundation is, is, is really just getting stuck up and started. I had one when I was here for a long time, but I don't live here in South Florida anymore. So I went dormant. But when I come back here, you know, after I just, it's been up about four months right now, and my website is under construction right now, but it's soon to be out soon because I'm looking forward to doing plenty more other good things down out in the community here in South Florida. Well, that's great. It looks like you brought a lot of your friends with you. Um, I saw Mark Cooper here. And oh, yeah, man. These guys right here, man, I, every every time I've always called on them, uh, we, we su I get the support from them, and, and the same with me. If they're putting something on, they, they never hesitate to call me because they know anything that they do that entails kids, I'm all in. That's excellent. Uh, one quick question about the uh, NFL lockout. You, you, have you heard anything? They're going to play football. I've got nine billion reasons why they're yeah, going right. to play. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, Mark. Well, I see you're here for Mark Clayton. Um, do you go to many of his uh, charity events? Yeah. I, yeah. Every year I try to do this. So the Dolphins, the Nat Moore, uh, Bob Brzezinski. Uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of tournaments that's going on. You know, during this season, during the year. And what I try to do is lend my time and uh, come out here and uh, support the cause, whatever they're doing. Well, that's great. And are you working with any charities yourself right now? or? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not working with a charity. I have a lot of opportunities to work with the charities, but uh, I, I travel a lot. And there's a lot of things that uh, I'm trying to accomplish. And uh, when you're dealing with charity, it's, like, uh, it's pretty much uh, a commitment where I'd just rather just donate my time to somebody else's charity than let them do all the commitments. Oh, I understand, I understand. Now, um, just, um, I was looking, at, I, I'm a big Dolphins fan myself, and I've seen your name on the Ring of Honor next to Dan and, and Mark Clayton. Um, do you think there'll be an, any other teammates you see uh, being put on there together in the future? Oh, it's no different them. Every year, what they do, they have, uh, they, they put in either one guy or two guys. Uh, you, you're going to see a lot of teammates. Uh, I think maybe Zach Thomas and Jason Taylor, for um, example. Yeah, Zach Thomas, Jason Taylor. I think uh, it's a couple of uh, teammates, like Roy Foster. He should be, uh, like he had a big part of the Dolphins. Uh, the career that we had, great. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of players that uh, deserve to be on it. Um, and uh, you just have to sit back because every year it changes. Uh, it changes with the players and what they do and everything else so it's it's a lot it's, it's a lot you know, and it's an honor so sure and um what, what do you think of the uh, what's going on with the nfl lockout you think it's going to come to a resolution anytime soon or oh it's no if and end. let me tell you something this is a billion dollar industry right okay right. uh you just don't not play or not run your business for a whole year have you met the dolphins new owner oh yes he's a great owner uh, uh uh, he's he's a good owner. You know what I like about the uh, the Dolphins owner now. He like older players. Uh, Mike D, his assistant, is a great guy. He's a good friend of mine, and he loved the older players. And uh, Jeff first, Ireland, yeah, and Jeff Ireland. The first thing they did is that made sure that we was taken care of going to the to the stadium. You know, it's, it's kind of kind of different when you um when you name is on the stadium and uh, people wouldn't not you know you have to go through, through hoops to get it done to come in uh, that's crazy no nah, it's not like that with these guys these guys oh do come on in you know and which which is good it's not to say that we're more than anybody it's just called respect 
and to have it, and, and all of you want respect, you got to give respect. And you certainly earned the respect. Yes. And what about um, Hall of Fame? Do you think uh, your Mark Clayton will ever uh, get that honor? We might be 77 years old, but <laughs> we'll make it. You, you know, it's just a thing that people have to realize. Yeah, the numbers are bigger now, but back then, the numbers that we put up, the things that we did. Especially 84. Right, and the thing that we put up, now, two receivers in the NFL put up numbers for 10 years like Peyton and I did on the same team with the same quarterback. And I think that's something to compass. Uh, um, people should acknowledge that because uh, we, without, without, without you know, Clayton and I, uh, um, the numbers wouldn't be that for Marino. And so which means if Marina's in the Hall of Fame, I think he should have his two best receivers that he threw to that half, half of everything that he owned. No question, no question. I agree. All right, well, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.